Hey guys, it's Christy with Christy's Custom Creations and as you know these epoxy pens are the big hype going on right now and we are all trying to find different ways that we can pretty them up and make them gorgeous so I decided to put the new mica powders from BJ's Glitter onto one of the pens and I've got to say it is gorgeous. BJ's Glitter just started carrying a new collection of mica powders so be sure to check them out they have got a great discount code on their website so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with about 15 milliliters of tumbler epoxy epoxy I like to use tumbler epoxy epoxy it is very easy to work with it is crystal clear it's got a beautiful glass like finish on it and it is my go-to epoxy so now that I've got my epoxy mixed up and ready to go I'm going to get my finger caught and I'm going to put a nice coat of epoxy on this pen here. And with this pen, I prepped it and I went ahead and spray painted it with a matte black spray paint. I wanted to use black because I figured that the mica powder would really pop on a black finish. So I'm going to spread it evenly on my pen and note that I am being extremely careful. I am not pushing I'm not starting at the end at all and pushing in I'm starting towards the middle of the pen and pushing out and then here on the edge I'm being extremely careful not to get any epoxy inside if you get any epoxy inside then you run the risk of your pen not going back correctly back together correctly or getting your pen stuck to your dowel rod so when you smooth out the epoxy just start at the middle of the pen and push outwards in both directions now that my epoxy is on I'm going to put my pen off to the side and get my mica powders ready and first color is grape second is blueberry the third is coconut and this fourth color is guava these colors are stunning so i'm going to take my epoxy that i have mixed up and ready and i'm going to divvy it into three different cups and leaving a little bit in my initial cup here so that i can use the four different colors so first off we are going to start off with grape and as you can see these are brand new containers this is my first time using bj's mica powder so you get to experience this with me and i'm going to get four different popsicle sticks and you don't need much mica powder at all i just put a little bit on the tip of my popsicle stick and mix it in and look how beautiful that purple is it is so vibrant and just absolutely gorgeous i cannot wait to see it on the pen the next color we are going to go with is the blueberry and it is such a vibrant blue and I'm gonna just take a little bit on my popsicle stick same way as before and mix it into my epoxy such a beautiful rich blue after that I'm going to take guava and guava is a, a lighter pink it's just a very pretty pink and all of these epoxies or micas I'm sorry all of these mica powders have a very slight shimmer to them they're not glittery by any means they just have a really light shimmer so they are they're beautiful absolutely beautiful and the fourth mica powder is coconut and it is just a really pretty pearly white that I am mixing up here and I didn't realize it it actually ended up looking a little bit silver on the black so it was really cool the the way that the color kind of changed a little bit on the black background which you will see here in a little bit in the video now that I have my four mica powders mixed up I am going to ditch these popsicle sticks and I decided that I wanted to since the pins are so small I am going to put the mica powders onto the pin with toothpicks putting them on a tumbler I would typically use a popsicle stick but as you can see the pins are tiny so I didn't really have any kind of like rhyme or reason as to how I wanted to put these mica powders onto the pin so I just kind of started out holding the pin and spinning it as I worked and I just kind of put I started off with the guava and I put it almost in like a swirling direction all the way down the pin
After that, I moved on to this absolutely beautiful purple and I put it on the exact same way. I just swirled it down the pen, pretty much following the same way that I had put the guava on there and just spinning the pen as I put it on. After that, I did the exact same thing with the blueberry and then the exact same thing with the coconut. And looking back, it probably would have been a little bit easier to just put it on my spinner and kind of put the mica powders on, but I didn't have a plan going into this. I just wanted to throw some of these beautiful powders onto this pen and see how they did. And I think it turned out beautiful, but you'll see later in the video, I did end up putting it on the spinner and adding a little bit more mica to it just to just to fill in any little gaps that I missed. So I'm going to let y'all just enjoy this little part of the video, listen to a little music and watch me put these micas on. Also, I want to mention that I have a new Facebook group called Tumblr's Epoxy Pens and More Tutorials and Tips by KCC and it's just a fun group where a bunch of us crafters get together, share ideas, and help each other out. So be sure to check it out. I will put the link down below in the description box. See how when I put the coconut on, it kind of turned silver? That is a really cool look on this pen. So now I'm taking my torch. I didn't want to use a heat gun because I didn't want to create too much heat and warp the pen shaft. So I just took my heat gun and made a couple of like super quick passes across the pen to get this, this mica powder moving. And I, I have a couple little drips that drip off here and there, but that's not a problem because it's all going to smooth out as the pen turns. So, like I said, just a couple super, super quick passes with my heat gun, and you can see it has got these powders moving, and they make such a neat, swirly design. In any little areas where I see that, you know, mica powder may be trying to separate or anything like that, or any spots that I missed, I just go in with my toothpick and put a little dab of one of the colors, it doesn't really matter which one, it just makes a really cool swirling pattern. So just put a little dab of the color on there and let it do its thing. It is so neat. So the, at this point I decided, let me throw this thing on the spinner and it was actually a lot easier to do. I was able to put the mica on there a lot easier and just kinda put it on as it spins. I was able to keep the cup closer to the pen. One thing to keep in mind, it does the same thing on tumblers, but as as your tumbler or your pen spins, the mica powder can kind of separate from the top or the bottom of the pen or cup. So it, it did kind of do this just a little bit with the pen, and so it was no biggie. I just went in and put a little bit up on the top and a little bit down on the bottom, and you can see me doing that right here in the video. So. Like I said, it's no biggie. It's just what the mica powder does. It pulls away from the edges ever so slightly. And so I just went in and put just a little bit more in there. So I let my pen spin for about six to eight hours or so until it was pretty dry. I didn't want to put any more epoxy on it at the moment because I didn't want to disturb the way that the powders had kind of made their swirling pattern. So I let it completely dry before I added my second coat of epoxy. And so once it was dry, I put a second coat of epoxy on there and let that spin and it just, it made for an absolutely beautiful pen. Here's a close up and in this video here, the powders are still kind of swirling together and they will continue to swirl together until that epoxy really thickens up so you just let it spin and do its thing but it just it turned out stunning and here's the pin put back together and there you have it this thing is so pretty definitely check out BJ's glitter another thing any products that I used in this video I have linked down in the description box below so that it's easier for you to find them and as always, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and be sure to check out my other videos for more tutorials 
and product reviews. Y'all take care. Bye.